Meanwhile, the seminar engaged participants in thoughtful discussions. They shared insights and explored effective strategies to mitigate the adverse effects of disinformation in the electoral process. Those of us in the media will have a bigger responsibility and the greatest harm that we cause to ourselves, our profession, and the society is where we superficially, I mean, resonate where we find in the social media without doing any little thing as to exercising our own conscience. First, in finding out who is the source of that information. I mean, I think that has gone down now. We, in, the, in a certain period, we live to see that people say, when I went to the office, there was a tape under my door. And you saw a tape under your door. You don't know who put the tape there. The next moment, you are playing live on air. And then when somebody calls you and say, what are you doing? You say, oh, I'm exercising my freedom. That is an abuse of freedom. And, and nobody should support that kind of madness if we want to build a better society for ourselves. Only one person mentioned civic education as an important key to achieve what we are trying to achieve, which is to stop disinformation. But we forget that the most important tool in all of this is the mind of the people who are going to vote, who are going to elect leaders, who are going to do things during the electoral cycle. But if we don't understand that all this boils down to the kind of citizen that we have, we will have the best electoral system. But if you don't have the right kind of citizen, all that will still not be enough. If we have a system where we can't get information, and I understand we have passed the RTI law, but at Media Foundation and my colleagues from Dubawa here are, are here and Fact Check Ghana, the major issues we have has been coming to the, especially the security institutions. You write an RTI request to them and they don't mind you. We would advise that perhaps even in our education system, we, we have to inculcate media and information literacy courses in there so that at the, at the onset, students learn what is disinformation. The EC and all stakeholders could collaborate with the media, with fact checkers, going into the election so that we can help debunk um, the false narratives and false information.